Russia promised Tuesday to scale down military operations around two Ukrainian cities, including the capital city of Kiev, but U.S. officials remain skeptical. The comments came from members of a Russian delegation engaged in peace talks with their Ukrainian counterparts in Istanbul. But U.S. President Joe Biden was wary of Russia's vow to curtail military action in some areas. We'll see. I don't read anything into it until I see what their actions are. In a late-night television address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said he too was cautious about Russia's promise. Yes, we can call the signals we hear from the negotiating platform positive, but these signals do not drown out the blows of Russian shells. Of course, we see all the risks. Of course, we see no reason to trust the words of certain representatives of a state that continues to fight for our destruction. Ukrainians are not naive people. Some military experts also noted that Russia's promise to reduce fighting mostly concerned areas where it's been losing ground. It does not mean that the threat to Kyiv is over. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby told reporters Tuesday that Russia is simply rethinking its strategy. So we ought not be fooling, and nobody should be fooling ourselves, by the Kremlin's now recent claim that it will suddenly just reduce military attacks near Kyiv or any reports that it's going to withdraw all its forces. Has there been some movement by some Russian units away from Kyiv uh, in the last day or so? Yeah, we think so. Small numbers. But we believe that this is a repositioning, not a real withdrawal. The Russian delegates made no mention of areas which have seen heavy fighting, including Ukraine's besieged seaport Mariupol, where the head of the UN human rights mission there says thousands of civilians may have died. Russia denies targeting civilians and calls its assault a special operation to disarm and denazify Ukraine. The West maintains that it's an unprovoked invasion. In a coordinated move on Tuesday, several European Union countries expelled dozens of Russian diplomats, some for allegedly spying. Russia vowed retaliation.